Hey there. So what we have here is a 2013 C250 Mercedes. Should be the same for uh, most of the C-Class from maybe 08 to 2015. But uh, let's dig in and uh, see what we got here. We got to pull out the seat belts. They're all locked up. Just got a very minor accident. Um, no airbags went off or anything like that, but all four seat belts locked up front and back uh, on the four corners. So we need to pull them out, get them sent off, and get rebuilt so we can put them back in and drive this thing. So first things first, we need to pull this uh, back seat out here uh, so we can get access to these super tight uh, locked up bolts here. So what you do first is grab a hold and just pull firmly on both sides and get it up as much as you can. And typically, uh, should just come out from there. Let's see. Okay, so you got these hooks here and uh, it's just putting pressure um, backwards against the hook. Um, a lot of older seats are that way, just in the front. So you have to push in to get it back and then up. And uh, we got her out. Using a T40 Torx bit uh, to get these guys out. Okay, I've got it off and I like to put the bolts back in so we don't lose them. Next, we will move on to the upper section here to get the retractor out. Okay, so uh, just popped this one out. Um, on the bottom, you got these little uh, fingers that kind of just stick down, um, down inside here. And this one slips out, so you need to come up and pack a little with it. Um, then you got a hook here. That hooks around the body, so you need to pull your rubber seal. And then you got a normal um, little body clip type. I was able to just slide it forward off of it. And this one has like a nut, like an adjustable nut to hold it in and out, I guess. Very strange, never seen that before, but that's it right there. And there we have it. Next, we will uh, work on getting actual Mechanism out looks like that Torx Torx bolt there and your little airbag plug connector. So I'm gonna disconnect the battery before I mess with any of that, and we'll get these out. We got that loose. Now I'll show you how to pull this here, pushing down with a little. A hook tool, a little pry, bada bang, bada boom. Now, I got the whole thing out. It's a one plug, so should be about 65 bucks to get this uh, new charge set and replace. So, we're gonna be back in business. Next, we'll do the front. Okay, so these are the tools I'm using. I just got my T40 Torx. Uh, there's one bolt here uh, up inside that does require a T45. And then uh, just a small hook tool and a flat blade and then a marker so I can mark each one. Uh, right front, left front, blah, blah, blah. So here, I can try to just grab this. It should pull up and out a little. There we go, and then we will grab our Torx, break this loose. Luckily none of these are uh, super massively tight, don't know if that's a good thing, but it seems to be going smooth and easy. That one, the washer came off. Not a big deal, but I usually like to keep them. There's the little washer that holds the bolt into the seat belt buckle. Keep those together. And then we've got another 
sensor here. We will pull this side down. Pop it out. Like so. Voila. Free. Free as a bird. Okay, we'll just leave that. Kind of uh, leave that in there, sort of. Maybe, so I don't hurt it with the door. Okay, and then I have the seats all the way forward as far as they will go, so I can gain full access. And again, we want to pull this uh, windlace door seal off so we can uh, get access to the inner cover here. And we'll do that on both sides. be a little tight especially on this car but they actually clip into some metal clips as well but also I've seen them where they got window adhesive or something holding them in which definitely not fun so here we want to go through uh, top to bottom and get all these little uh, clips off here and let's see what I do is just uh, come in here and put some pressure against it. You can even get in this little hole, pull it out, and voila, loose. So go up and down, get all those popped free, and then uh, pull these covers off. And just give this a little push back out from under the sill and now that piece is free and the top is just uh, falling out it's just got this little sleeve that slides up into the headliner there and next we can work on getting uh, this upper bolt out right here um, you don't need to remove the slider. There's another bolt up there. So you can leave that one in. Just remove the belt itself from the slider. And then down here, have, uh, you can see, there's another one right in there. Oh. <coughs> okay, there you go. That one here, and we'll pull this loose, and uh, we should be free. There we go. Come out. That bolt has its retainer. We'll leave it. Somebody's been in here screwing around. They tied this up. That is very interesting. I guess they were very skinny. Didn't want to. Uh, that in their way. I don't know. That's peculiar. Okay. Get this out. And we can slide the belt. Right through this slit here in the back. <laughs> Put this back in place. Now. And we do have one last bolt to remove at the bottom. Not about that. Excuse my giant extension here. Okay. Get the bolt out coming out here. And then this is our last airbag. Uh, 
module plug we need to remove. As you can see, it's a little different. We'll need our hook tool for that. Okay, so the green is the actual plug. It has a little fingers sticking down in that uh, lock out as this green, or I mean the orange um, plug snaps in, pushes those fingers out and holds it tight. Uh, so we have to come in here and try to pop out this orange plug like that. And once it's up and loose, then you should be able to wiggle the green one up and out. And voila, unbroken. You don't want to break those. That is for sure. So, that's it. We got it out. We have them all done. Slide this up through that top cover. And... We'll push all these uh, windlace back in so we don't damage anything when we close our doors and send these seat belts out. Wait till they arrive. Okay, hope that was uh, helpful, useful, and uh, if so, please give me a like, and uh, we'll see you next time.